and welcome to a new reading vlog. It's actually Monday night right now and I'm just kind of cleaning up my room but I think I'm going to do a little bit of reading tonight because I had a massive to-do list but I've gotten everything that I had wanted to get done done pretty much so I'm really happy about that so I think I'm just going to take some time and kind of relax a little bit especially since I'm working early tomorrow morning so I think I might just read for the rest of the night but knowing me I'll probably end up watching some thing because I've just been really lazy lately. But I'm currently reading a couple of things. So first of all, I'm listening to the audiobook for The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. And it's actually The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle according to the audiobook. So interesting. But I have so many spooky reads to get through that I really would like to do some reading before bed because there is literally a million that I'd like to read. But the other book that I'm reading is A Map of Days by Ransom Riggs. So I'm not very far into this right now. I think about 50 pages. So it'd be awesome if if I could get a little bit more into it. But I did end up finishing another book. I'll talk to you guys about it tomorrow probably because I think I'm gonna hit the sheet a little bit early tonight. Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. I'm sorry that you can hear construction but this has been my life for like the past two weeks actually. It's probably been like a month now. It's been very annoying. But today is Tuesday. I am planning on spending the day doing some revisions and I'm going to have to put on a face and I might do something with my hair. I don't know. I kind of like the way that it dried so it might just leave it but I have bookmarked tonight so that's what's up for today but I had three packages shoved in my mailbox so I wanted to open them for you guys there have been a lot of new releases recently I'm not sure what these are because I don't think I would have any of the new releases since they were all like books that couldn't be put out before their release date so they wouldn't have been shipped yet I don't know I guess we'll find out I also have pre-ordered so many books and then like purchased them at the same time so there's so many that I'm gonna have to return it's kind of a mess I guess I ordered this twice apparently but it is once again what if it's us by becky Yell. oh i know what happened they didn't have signed copies before so i have a signed copy and an unsigned copy so i will be returning the unsigned copy and next we have, I did order it. So the Ladies Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. I also have to return this because I ended up picking it up when we got it in store. So I have two copies of that as well. And the last one, ooh, this one's actually an early one. It's A Very Large Expansive Sea by Tahara Mafi. I have already read this book and I've had an arc since Book Expo. I met Tahara Mafi. She is so, so sweet, but I'm very excited to have a finished copy of it now. So like I said, the plan for today is revisions. I had quite a few things on my to-do list yesterday but I got the bulk of them done which is very exciting so hopefully I will be able to get everything done today as well. Apparently my coffee isn't really helping things. I am suddenly really tired. I've only done one of the things that was on my to-do list for today and it is one o'clock, which doesn't really seem that late, but my mom gets home in like three hours, so I only really have three hours to do stuff, but I'm kind of feeling like I want to take a nap. I'm just really, really tired and I had been kind of hoping to dedicate today to revisions, but I think I'm actually going to just try and do one chapter today because the chapter that I have to do do is one of my kind of problem chapters so I have quite a bit to add so I think I'm going to try and get the bulk of it done now and then do a little bit more tonight maybe see if I can get a video edited I don't really know I kind of just want to nap I guess I might nap now and then do my writing after? I don't know what I want to do. I think it might be nap time. So I ended up taking a little mini nap, I guess, but now I'm getting back to revising chapter eight of Book of Sisters and I really like this chapter a lot. Like it has one of my favorite scenes in it and it's a pretty key scene in establishing a few things. I'm really happy with how it turned out actually. Like now reading it back, I'm just, I'm very happy happy. This is one of those times where I'm reading it and I'm like, I really love this book a lot. So this is definitely one of those scenes. It's just a scene that I need to add some more meat to it and I don't really know where to begin, but at the same time I do know where to begin. It's just kind of a daunting task, I guess. So it's going to take me quite a while and I probably won't be able to get any video editing done today, but it's actually only three. Like I feel like I want it to be four and I want it to 
be later in the day so then I know that like I can go to bed soon and stuff which is ridiculous but I'm just kind of like this is the never ending day I don't know what's happening but I am going to try and work a little bit more on it and hopefully beef it up a little bit good morning it is actually 1 30 in the afternoon and I'm exhausted I just like literally just <laughs> woke up from a nap today was just one of those days where I knew that like the only thing that was getting me through my shift this morning because I worked at five in the morning was the fact that I was gonna come home and nap and I kind of had a mini nap and then I had every intention of getting up but then Luna like curled up right beside me so I was like I can't leave now like she never cuddles so I had to take advantage of that so now here we are I laid in bed for three hours this morning and I'm honestly like still half asleep so I'm wearing a hat because I look awful and I want to half close my eyes and not have anyone know but before I actually fell asleep I did some reading in the book that I'm currently reading which I don't think I ever mentioned in this vlog but I'm reading A Map of Days by Ransom Riggs and now I'm about 80 ish pages into it and I don't really have many opinions because not a lot has happened so far so I'm very eager to delve a little bit further in so I think before I do any writing or anything I'm either going to sit and have my coffee and read this or I'm going to have my coffee and do some video editing I'm not really too sure yet but the reason for me filming right now is once again I got some packages so need to open them so these are all from indigo actually one of these is going to be for my dad I think maybe not I'm not sure when everything is coming in but the first thing that I got is dear Evan Hansen by Val Emich and this is the finished copy I have the arc so I might return this and just read the arc and see how I feel about it but it is a novelization of the Broadway show and now another one so this one I feel like I know what it is yes this is a highly highly anticipated release for me and it's one that I've had since book expo but I haven't read yet and that is Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak. So I got a signed copy which is really really exciting. There we go. Ah! And then it also has like the pattern on the outside. It's very meticulously put together but I am very much looking forward to reading this book. The reason that I haven't read it is because I've been doing so much writing and Marcus Zusak is an author that I loved the book Thief so much so I would really like to be able to give this like my full complete attention so I think I'm I'm going to wait until after I'm done my revisions to actually read this so I might not even be reading it until like the new year because after I'm done my revisions things are still gonna be pretty crazy at least video wise and stuff like that but I still might try oh it's a cookbook so I really like the skinny taste recipes so this is the new skinny taste cookbook ow I just hit myself in the face like I said I don't know what I'm gonna do now I'll figure it out Good morning. So today is Thursday. I don't know where the time has gone, but here we are. So the past couple of days, I haven't been very productive. I have just been pretty lazy. I don't know. I have no excuses that just happens sometimes but today I'm really going to kick my ass into gear and get things done so I'm going to keep myself accountable today but I've been reading what what a novel concept for a reading vlog also that was an entirely unintentional pun but I'm gonna go with it so I am 160 pages into map of days which I think yesterday I was just 60 pages into it so like I'm so happy with that I've actually actually been reading before bed. I've been wanting to read. The cats are chasing each other into my room. There are so many things happening right now, but the moral of the story is that I have been reading. I feel like I'm kind of beating my slump, so I'm super excited about it, but now I'm going to stop reading and I'm going to get some revisions done. Yay! There's so much noise. All the cats. Oh, hi, Lucy. And then the construction outside, like, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to go and get stuff done. Right, Lucy? Hello. This is just a crazy hair day so I have finished editing or revising I don't know either word work but basically what I was trying to say is that I am done chapter 9 which is really exciting because chapter 9 was one of my chapters
chapters that no not chapter nine it was chapter eight right yeah chapter eight my bad but it was one of my chapters that needed quite a bit of work after my first draft so now i'm done it for the second draft and i'm actually really happy with how it turned out i think that i fixed the problem there which was just that i had to develop some of the relationships a little bit more so i think i did achieve that goal but like i'm just feeling right now like i love this book so much and i'm so excited about it i'm so happy with how it turned out and i really hope that you guys get to read it one day but now i'm not sure if i want to try and edit tomorrow's video because the video that i had initially planned for tomorrow friday it's going to take a lot of work so i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to get it done because i had wanted to edit it throughout the week but didn't end up doing that because i do this thing where i'm like i should be doing revisions so i'm just gonna procrastinate by doing nothing which is like so stupid like at least if i'm procrastinating i should be like editing a video or something productive but that's not what i do but after watching cat from katie tastic's writing vlogs which are awesome i highly recommend that you go and check them out i think i want to do a little bit more goal setting because i have like my to-do list for the day but i feel like i want to have like weekly goals that i would really like to accomplish so especially for nanowrimo that will be helpful because i think i'm going to do that for my contemporary project but i feel like just in general if i could set some goals for each week that will kind of help me stay motivated really because i'm pretty good at like when i set out with a goal accomplishing it most of the time not all the time but i think that might be what i'm going to try and do next week but now i think i'm going to take a little bit of a break and start editing that video for tomorrow see if i can get some of it done and then after like maybe i'll set my timer for like an hour or something and then i will go in and try to revise chapter nine because in order to get caught up with where i should be i had wanted to be ahead of the game by now but i'm very far behind so i think i might try and do two chapters a day and today i have to do three to get caught up so i don't know how this is gonna go but we'll see so it's been an hour or two, I think, since I last updated and I just finished the first round of edits on my Alice video and I made myself a pumpkin spice cappuccino in my little raccoon mug, so cute. But I'm now just taking a break to have a little snack and then I'm going to have to do two more rounds of editing. So I think in between my rounds of editing, I'm going to do some revisions, so some word editing. But the first round that I did was really just getting rid of the bad cuts. Then I'm going to have to go through and get rid of like any pauses and stuff like that which I normally do two rounds of editing with my videos like the second round is always polishing and everything but now I'm going to have to do a third round which I don't normally do but that's because I'm going to be including some b-roll footage so getting that to line up and everything is probably going to take quite a bit of time but I'm gonna have to try and get it done hopefully for tomorrow so I think it's gonna be a pretty busy night so it's actually Friday night and I have had a pretty productive day actually I haven't really had a productive day right wise I'm kind of working on that now even though it's already 9 p.m. but I'm still gonna try and get started on some writing because I think I'm gonna try and do two chapters a day even though I've been struggling with the one I'm still gonna challenge myself I don't know why I do these things but like I said before I think goal setting will really help with that so I guess we'll see how that goes next week, especially because the spookathon is next week. So I'm gonna be doing a readathon. I'm gonna be doing some planning for NaNoWriMo. Like I'm just gonna be doing everything. But I had been hoping to get my Alice collection up today, but that didn't end up happening. But I did have another video that I had ready to go up instead. So it was still okay. But I'd been promising the Alice collection for so long that I really wanted to get it done. But I went to go and do the final thing, like put in the B-roll footage and all the B-roll footage, the way that I filmed it was super, super shaky. So I decided to refilm it all today so I refilmed all of it and just finished editing it and now it is uploading yay I'm so happy it took so long to do that video I did so many retakes of all the footage so like I'm thrilled to be done with it and I honestly don't know if I'll ever do an Alice collection again because it was so much work but I'm kitten sitting right now because my parents are at a concert tonight and the kittens just got spayed today so I have to make sure that they're not like licking or anything or fighting and it's not fun and it doesn't seem like I'm doing that right now but like I can see both of them they're both cool but like I had been told that they were gonna sleep it was gonna be fine but they fell asleep for like maybe half an hour they have been like up and going the entire time so that's been fun but today been working on my schedule been getting a lot of stuff done and now I'm just gonna dive into a little bit of writing before bed 
I've had a very productive day. This is kind of showing that if I lived on my own, I'd probably be really productive, but I don't live on my own, so. Oh, well. Good morning, baby. Oh, bye, Ella. Good morning. So I'm just about to get dressed and ready for the day. It's actually about 10.30. I've been reading this morning, though, because I woke up not really feeling well. My throat was kind of hurting, and I had a headache. So I was going to film today, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to kind of readjust my schedule a little bit. But today is the first day of the Spookathon. I don't actually have the books that I finished yesterday. I ended up finishing two books this weekend, but they are on my floor over there. So I will talk about that later. But I've started my first read for the Spookathon, and that is Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Moira Fowley Doyle. So I'm actually 50 pages into it. It's a really quick read so far, which is awesome. That's just what I need. But this book will complete the challenge of reading a book with a spooky word, I think is the exact challenge. I don't entirely remember, but I'm also starting with a new audiobook, and that is Hocus Pocus, the all-new sequel. I don't even know the author for it, but I couldn't actually get the physical book because it's like sold out everywhere in Canada. I don't know why. Really weird. That doesn't happen a lot, but this will complete the challenge of reading a book with purple on the cover because even though I don't physically own it, it does have a lot of purple on the cover still. So I'm going to get up and get ready and make my plan for the week, make all my goals for the week, and all of that stuff. So I have figured out my schedule. First of all, I have been listening to the Hocus Pocus audiobook while I've been doing that, so I've managed to get a fair chunk of that done, but like this week is going to be crazy. So I actually tweeted out like everything I had to do so then I would have a little bit of accountability there, but it's going to be really interesting to see actually how much I'll be able to get done. But I wrote down all my goals and I actually have the post-it notes all right here. So obviously, first and foremost, my writing goals. I want to get my revisions done up to chapter five. I'm on chapter 11 right now. So this is like a really lofty goal. I actually have it mapped out up here. So this whole big chunk here is what I want to get done this week. And then this little chunk is what I'm going to try and get done next week. So these dates are inaccurate now, but just ignore that. So that's definitely a main goal. And then I would also like to get a lot of my nano outline done. So my contemporary project outline, I would like to get that all sorted out, figured out. So then I can go into November being ready to go. Then reading goals, I've got a ton of books here. I didn't actually realize I had more than I needed for Spookathon. So Undead Girl Gang and Ironcast are some bonus books that I'm not worried about, but if I could get to them, cool. But Hocus Pocus, Spellbook of the Lost and Found, Neverworld Wake, Escaping from Houdini, Duels and Deception, those are my main books. So Hocus Pocus for a book with purple on the cover, Spellbook for a book with a spooky word in the title, Neverworld Wake is my thriller, Escaping from Houdini has pictures in it, and Duels and Deception is a book that's set in a different time period. So if I can get those five books done, I will be super, super happy. But this is kind of just a fun thing that I'm doing. This is definitely more important than this. But then we have my YouTube goals. So I want to get my vlog edits done because I'm going to have a vlog. Well, this vlog will be going up on the Monday. And then I want to try and film at least four videos, but it's actually, I'm going to try and get six filmed. Like I have it all mapped out in my planner exactly what I'm going to film. I'm going to do that on Tuesday and Wednesday, I believe. Then I would also like to try and get videos edited, at least four of them, if I can get more. Once again, super, but I'm not going to put too, too much pressure on myself. I have quite a few videos I wanted to plan, and then I also have a couple of Halloween videos that are going to be interesting to film, so I'm going to try and get those done. I might do that, actually. Have that be my project for on Wednesday, because on Tuesday, I have myself filming quite a few videos, so I might save the Halloween ones for a day where I don't really have any other videos to film, because I know that they're going to take a lot of time. So these are just a few YouTube goals that I have. I have more than that really that I'd like to get done, but this is just somewhere to start. And really as it is between all of this, that's a lot of work. Like writing, that's going to be a lot of work and that is my number one, number one priority. So setting these goals, having them here, I'm hoping is going to help out a little bit. I guess we'll see. I'm also working twice this week. So I work 9 p.m. to 1.30 in the morning. So like, we'll see how things are gonna go. I don't really wanna show you a lot of what is in here because some of it I want to be a surprise when the videos go up, but I have my Spookathon reads at the top of my planner here. Got all the stuff that I have to do today. And then tomorrow I have a filming day. Next day is a filming day. I don't really have Thursday or Friday planned out yet or like the weekend or anything like that. I do obviously have the live show on Tuesday for Bookmarked. And then I have a live show on Sunday actually because it is the fiction faction discussion for Hocus Pocus. So I'm going to be all over the place this week. I need to actually write in the fact that I have a writing update that's going to be going up. I can't write 
narrate this through the camera. Oh my god, is she six years old? Why am I still doing it? But that will be going up on Friday. I've just, it's busy, man. I've got to film that, edit it. Oh my god, I need to get to work and stop procrastinating. So, bye. So, it is just about 4 p.m. This is Lucy. Hello. Excellent. Lucy really likes to, like, sit right in front of me when I'm trying to write and stick her butt in my face, apparently. It's really helpful. Lucy, this is zero percent helpful but you don't care at all so it is monday night it's what time is it about 4 p.m it's actually 3 30 so it's not about 4 it's 3 30 i haven't done any more reading for spookathon but i did end up finishing my revisions on two chapters i'm not really happy with them because they're two chapters that i knew were going to take a lot of work because they're kind of trouble chapters for me right now and i still don't think that i'm happy with where they are but i don't really know how to fix them like they're not awful they're just i don't know it's hard for me to describe it so i think i'm happy with where they're at for now and then i'm going to re-examine it before i start querying agents or anything like that but my goal for today had been to finish four chapters so i think i'm gonna shoot for three if i get that fourth one done that's awesome because then i'll be caught up with where i should be in terms of my schedule of getting two chapters done every day so that would be cool that's really all i had on my plans for today like everything else is really easy so if i can end up getting these final two chapters done tonight i'll be really happy with that so i'm gonna work on chapter 13 for the next like half hour before my mom gets home and then i think we're going to do groceries and some stuff i don't really remember but yeah that's the plan hello and happy tuesday so as far as spookathon goes i'm about halfway through the hocus pocus audiobook i just finished part one which i think is like a retelling of the movie and now i'm on part two and i haven't read any more of Spellbook of the Lost and Found because last night I just ended up watching YouTube videos so I failed. Yesterday I did end up getting two chapters edited. I had wanted to get four done but I knew that was a lofty goal. Would have been awesome if I got three but once again I just watched YouTube videos so that was some self-sabotage there but today I'm hoping to get two done. Wednesday I'm hoping to get two done and then maybe on Thursday I'll be able to get three chapters done. I don't know. The next couple of days are going to be filming day so I've already started filming i am just moving all of my filming stuff from downstairs back upstairs because i was filming my writing update so i needed everything down there which was a task but i decided to film today just because i have to have like my makeup and everything done because we have the bookmarked episode tonight so yeah it's gonna be a busy day today so i need to get some stuff done so it is about 1.30, I believe, but I just finished filming actually all four of the videos I had wanted to get done, which is awesome. I hadn't thought that that would actually happen. So I'm really excited about that. I have two videos that are Halloween themed that I am going to film tomorrow, and I'm kind of debating starting the filming on them now, but I actually think I have quite a bit of prep for them that I'm not ready for yet. So I think instead of starting the filming on them, I'm going to go and try and revise one chapter maybe read a chapter of my book because i haven't done that yet and tuesdays are just really busy days now because since i have bookmarked at night i have to wear makeup anyway so i've been making tuesdays my filming days hello i just wanted to clarify that i obviously don't have to wear makeup i just choose to that's all i just knew i was gonna get comments about that so enjoy so i literally spend all day filming and then i have bookmarked at night and i have like all the other stuff that i have to do still still trying to revise two chapters like Tuesdays they're just a lot but tomorrow is going to be a lot too so I think I'm going to try and revise that one chapter probably not read one chapter but like maybe and then from there I will try and do some prep for tomorrow's videos get them a little bit more planned out so I can have a little bit of a more seamless filming experience since they are kind of different videos so that's the plan for the rest of the day and I guess we'll see how it goes I'm running out of coffee so that's tragic but I'll have to make myself another one hello everyone one. So today was supposed to be a filming day, but last night I was just kind of feeling blah about filming today 
I have a couple of really big videos that I want to do so I'm actually going to spend today planning them out a little bit better and doing some revisions because I didn't finish the revisions that I was supposed to yesterday because just with bookmarked and everything and it ended up getting to be a really busy day so today I'm going to make up for that I already have started off the day really well so I edited and scheduled Friday's video so I don't have to worry about that anymore it is a writing update that I'm really excited but really nervous to post so it will be up by the time this video is up so I'll link it down below for you guys but I basically tell you guys everything of what my contemporary project is about and I read some of Book of Sisters so like that's very nerve-wracking but I actually finished my first book for Spookathon so I finished listening to the audiobook for Hocus Pocus and the all-new sequel and I thought it was good like I feel like my opinion is gonna differ from a lot of people's because I haven't seen the movie but it was entertaining I knew it was gonna be corny like I fully expected that going into it and it definitely was but I still I was entertained I wasn't expecting anything more than to be entertained and I felt like it delivered on that front it was like a solid entertaining Halloween read so for my audiobook I have moved on to Never World Wake by Marisha Pessel this will fulfill the challenge of reading a thriller so I'm excited to get more into this I'm not very far into it at all I think I'm on chapter three now but I'm also working on Spellbook of the Lost and Found I have a couple more days to read this so I'm going to try and actually read a little bit later today because I work tonight so I would like to try and get to some of this I don't know we'll see because I do want to have it done like I have kind of a schedule for Spookathon so if I can stick to that that'll be awesome but I'm really awful at sticking to schedule but I actually ended up like prioritizing everything I was going to do today but then Microsoft was doing an update so I couldn't do my Halloween video plan so ended up doing my like not top priority thing I got all of that done so my writing update and all all of that is completely done so now I think I'm going to work on the Halloween videos and then go to revisions and see how much I can revise see how much I can get done I just really want to get the Halloween videos planned out so then I can tackle them I think I might have to do two filming days for that I'm not really too sure if I have some extra time between all of that which I doubt it because revisions are very time consuming but if I do I'm either going to work on some outlining or I'm going to save outlining for next week when I'm not doing spookathon and instead Instead, I will work on editing some videos because I have a lot of videos ready to go I just haven't edited any of them yet so if I can do that and get editing off of my plate and filming off of my plate then whoop, there goes the pen <laughs> then that would be awesome because then I can really have nothing like distracting me from revisions because I look for any distraction that I can find so I'm going to try my best to make today another productive day tomorrow will be interesting because today's my first day of working 9 p.m. to 1 30 in the morning instead of doing 5 a.m shifts so today and tomorrow I work 9 p.m. to 1 30 in the morning so I'm interested to see if it will be better than my 5 a.m. shifts because a lot of times with the 5 a.m. shifts I get home and I'm like I just want a nap like I don't want to do anything so I feel like I might wake up a little bit later but I might be able to be more productive during the day I don't know I guess we shall see it will be an experiment but I'm going to go and get some stuff done my whimsify came in the mail so I wanted to unbox this for you guys I will leave a link to the company down below as well as a coupon code that I have but let's dive on in so Lucy's going to help me and by help I mean not help at all but the theme for this month was required reading oh this is dangerous with the cat <laughs> but this is a lanyard and it says on it Rivendale has my heart I have no clue what that means I need to look in here oh she got a piece of paper no give it back no okay I had to close my door while I'm doing this or else she will eat all of the paper. Oh, Rivendale is from Lord of the Rings. That's why I have no idea what it's talking about. Okay, cool. Next is a candle. Oh my god, I'm throwing stuff everywhere. One-handed unboxings were a bad idea, but this is a Babylon candle. It won't focus on it, which is very irritating. There you go. So this is the Babylon candle, which is from Stardust by Neil Gaiman, but Babylon is also like just thing. It's a very interesting scent. It's good. I like it, but it's very interesting. I don't think I've ever had anything that has smelled like that before. What is it? Fairy wine and starlight. Next. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my 
god i'm really shook right now so this is obviously an alice in wonderland pillowcase and it is so cute it is so cute i'm dying so it says it's no use going back to yesterday because i was a different person then which is an amazing quote and oh my god i kind of want to put that over this one i don't know if i can because like this one doesn't come off but i'm gonna try because that's so cute next is this princess buttercup i don't know what it is it's a perfume that's fun i need to smell it it smells very fresh and clean which is lovely i'm very happy about that next is a little print oh it's a narnia print beautiful and then finally we have the book for this month which is a book that i now have two copies of but i'm not mad about it at all because i'm excited to read it and it's the dark descent of elizabeth frankenstein by kirsten white i'm actually planning on reading this on halloween day for my little 24 hour readathon thing that i'm doing by myself so this is perfect Thank you so much to Whimsify for sending me this. I'm so excited about this pillowcase. Look at how cute the pillow looks. I am obsessed. I love it so much, obviously. Things are getting steamy here, and it's not just my coffee. So I just got through, well, I'm almost through, with revising the first kissing scene in my novel, and it's quite intense. Like, I haven't read it since I wrote it, but, like, it's, like, it's intense. But it's really interesting to read it after, because, like, as I'm writing it, the experience is, like, different, because obviously I'm writing Reading it but reading it was very interesting but I have to say I am pretty happy with how it turned out so I'm almost done with chapter 13 I have about 500 more words left and it is 2 13 so I have a couple of hours until my mom will be home and then that's kind of distracting so I might be able to get some stuff done until five o'clock but I'm mostly done everything on my to-do list for the day so I've got my Halloween videos pretty well planned like they're kind of hard videos to plan but I did my best with that so all I have to do is I need to like post when my new video goes up and respond to some comments which will be fun and everything else is just revisions because I am behind two chapters still so if I can get those chapters done and get to chapter 16 even if I can get three chapters done today I'll be super super happy with that so I'm going to try and focus on that try and dedicate myself to that for the next little bit until I'm distracted again so I'm gonna try and keep my mind focused on things and hopefully I will be able to accomplish everything on my to-do list for the day because that's always a great day when you can get your to-do list done my problem with to-do lists is I always put way too much on it and it's like not humanly possible for me to finish it all but revisions are going pretty well this was a pretty quick chapter to revise so hopefully chapter 14 15 and 16 will be the same but we'll see good morning so today is thursday i can't believe this week is actually already almost over because it feels like it just started and i also can't believe that this month is already almost over i got my owl crate in the mail just now and i was like that's weird i feel like i just got an owl crate but i guess i didn't just get an owl crate because here is the next one because october is almost over i don't know when any of this happened but i'm going to do a quick little unboxing for you guys of this and as per usual i will have the company and a fun code linked down below for you guys so the theme for this month is lost in a bookstore which of course is an amazing theme and the first thing that we have in here is an alcrate exclusive underlined and out of print book nerd sock so these are a size small so i wasn't sure if they would fit me but they actually look pretty big but they say like one says book and then the other one says nerd on the bottom and then they have little books on them and they're super cute next is a tea infuser so it's a love of reading tea strainer which is fun I almost said tea stranger so that was a struggle and then of course since there's a strainer you need some tea so this is choco mint truffle tea the packaging for it is super cute and then next we have a little Harry Potter print so it's that mirror that I can't think of the name of and then it has Hedwig and all the books in it and it is so so cute I'll have to find a spot for it on my walls and then the very exciting thing about this owl crate is that there are two books in here so the first one is pride by Ibby Zoboy which which I do own but I only have the arc of so I'm really excited to have a copy I like the pink like the other one I actually have it right here but that one's blue so I do like the pink the pink is very striking I like both of them really but this is Pride and Prejudice retelling that I am so so excited to read so this is awesome so it comes with a matching bookmark which I always love it's very pretty and a note from the author oh my god I haven't even looked in the finished copy this is so nice I don't know if all of them have 
this but this is gorgeous oh and it is signed wow does the end wow these end papers are so pretty and i really do like the pink i'm gonna have to check it today at work and see if like the blue one has these end papers because they're amazing there's actually also something under here is this a little book holder thing this is super cute books are a uniquely portable magic and i think it is a book holder so you stick your book in this way kind of had to do some shimmying but now it is in there and this is a cute little like a book clutch so i can look like i'm prepared for things but i really just have a book so really i am prepared for everything all right and the last book that is in here is a shadow of the fox by julie kagawa which i also already own and I also have it right here so I got my other copy from indigo because it's the indigo staff pick of the month so obviously this book has a lot of buzz surrounding it so here's the cover difference I like both of them a lot I actually am not sure which one I like better like it's literally just kind of like an inverted version even on the back like I really don't know which of these I prefer they're both really really nice but this has like a really intriguing thing on the back so it says a fox shapeshifter sworn to hide a mysterious scroll a secret assassin under orders to kill to obtain it hunted by demons gods and shadows their wary bond may break them or alter the course of the world dun, dun, dun. so i'm really excited for this one as well and once again we have a matching bookmark i love me some matching bookmarks and this one is also signed so that is very cool very excited for both of these this was an awesome owl crate so thank you very much to owl crate for sending this to me once again i will have link and coupon code down below so i worked last night until 1 30 and i didn't end up falling asleep until probably probably like 2.30 or 3 because when I got home the kittens were like what is it morning time like blah someone's here so that they were running around all over the place so I really didn't get a ton of sleep but I got up at about 9.30 I let myself sleep in at least a little bit and now I've kind of prioritized my list of things to do today once again I ended up finishing editing chapter 14 so I did most of the edits on it yesterday but I just gave it a reread this morning because I was doing it like right before I went to work so I wanted to make sure that I hadn't really missed anything so that's done and then I'm gonna try and get chapter 15 and 16 done and then I'm going to try and edit a video and I have a couple of other things that I wanted to do today like I wanted to finish my physical spookathon read but I don't really think that's going to happen that will probably be something for tomorrow but I guess we'll see but I'm really not that worried about it I have made writing my priority so hopefully I'll be able to get those chapters chapters done so I can get caught up because I am a little bit behind at this point I wanted to be like I think I wanted to be at like chapter 18 so I'm four chapters behind which sucks but if I can get like an extra one done every day that would be awesome I just have been really bad at like dragging it out because I'll like edit maybe for like five minutes and I'll be like wow that was really good let's go like check Twitter or whatever which makes it just such a tedious process so I really need to tamp down and stop doing that so I don't know I guess I'll try that today and see how it goes So I'm just making myself a hot chocolate right now and I finished editing chapter 15 which I'm excited about. I did get a little bit sidetracked today on looking up stuff about like query letters because I feel like I'm really close to the end because the next few chapters that I have to do aren't like major ones. The next major thing that I have to do is going to be the final little bit like I've mentioned. So I'm starting to get like really pumped up and amped up to do all of that stuff. I also got kind of sidetracked thinking about my contemporary project so there's just a lot of things that I was getting sidetracked by and once again I kind of made the process longer than it had to be which I just am annoyed with myself for but I have about an hour before anyone gets home or anything so I think I'm going to try and see if I can revise chapter 16 within the hour so that will be interesting if I can do it then like I kind of hate myself for taking so long with all the other chapters I really think I will be able to do it but I'm just going to have my phone like completely away from me have all the websites that I don't want to be on like Twitter and all that stuff blocked so then hopefully I will be able to finish it and I will get a little bit closer to being where I wanted to be right now so fingers crossed I can do that also actually I wanted to mention before I really got started one my mug says all I need is coffee and my cat and it's hot chocolate so I do need coffee 
I just am not drinking it right now because I don't want to be up super late after work again. But Book of Sisters draft two has surpassed 97,000 words. That's crazy. Like saying it out loud, I'm like, oh my God. Like I can't believe it. And I know that it's definitely going to, in the end, be longer than 100,000 words because I have a lot to add at the end. So like this is going to be crazy, but I really want to get to the end. So then I will have like, I kind of was considering actually skipping ahead to the end and then going back and doing the easier things. I don't know. I might still do that. Maybe make that a project for the weekend. We shall see. But I'm really excited about that. That is like crazy. So it's 4.11 and I just finished chapter 16. So there's literally no excuse for me not to get stuff done in an hour. I really need to kick my butt into gear for the rest of these revisions because I believe I'm now almost halfway through, just about halfway through. So yay, that's exciting. So I got all the chapters I wanted to get done today and now I'm going to see if maybe I'm able to get a little bit of editing done. I don't know, we'll see. And by that editing, I mean video editing, so. We'll see how that goes. Hello, so I just wanted to wrap up this week's reading vlog. It's actually Monday. I haven't updated since Thursday because my weekend just ended up being kind of crazy, but I now am sick, so that's awesome. But Spookathon was a major fail for me, which is fine. I'm not that worried about it. I mean, I was just kind of doing it for fun, but I only ended up finishing one book because I technically finished Never Rolled Wake, but then I was like, I don't really know what happened in this audiobook. So clearly it was one of those audiobooks where I wasn't paying attention. So that happens every now and again where I have to like go back and re-listen to it because I'm like, wait, I don't actually know what happened. So I'm going to go back and re-listen to that. So technically I finished two, but like I'm not really counting that because if you asked me what happened, I'd be like, mm, like I know some things, but not a lot. So the only book that I ended up finishing for Spookathon is the one that I had to finish anyways and that was Hocus Pocus and the all new sequel and I still don't know the author because I don't actually have the physical book but we had the Fiction Faction live show for that yesterday and we discussed it a little bit more but that I gave three out of five stars because it was really entertaining and that's what I wanted. I just wanted to be straight up entertained. I don't know anything about the Hocus Pocus movie. I had never seen it so I was happy to be entertained with a fun kind of Halloween spooky read. But before that, I also finished two books. So I finished Map of Days by Ransom Briggs, which was so, so good. It was better than I was expecting. I was really excited for it, but also a little bit skeptical just because I'm always nervous when an author and a series that I love ends up being continued. And I'm like, well, ugh, I don't know, like it might not be as good, but this picked up right where I wanted it to. And it was really amazing. So that I gave like a 4.5 out of five stars, maybe a five out of five stars. I'm kind of torn on it. But then I also ended up finishing these seven deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton and this I would give like a four out of five stars question mark there were some parts of the writing that I found a little bit unsavory it wasn't a huge fan of but overall the story was kind of confusing I don't really mind that generally there are a lot of twists and turns and like the end I was like what so it was definitely one of those blow your mind books so that was cool and I think it was a good Halloween read definitely out of my comfort zone so yeah that is how the past two weeks went I I ended up getting my revisions done up to chapter 17. I had initially wanted to get my revisions done at the end of this week. I had wanted to be at chapter 25, but that didn't end up happening. It was just a really bad week to try it because I put a lot of pressure on myself trying to do the spookathon and also my work hours changed completely this week. So instead of working early in the morning, I ended up working late at night. So that kind of threw me off. So it really was just a bad week to give myself such lofty goals. So next week's reading vlog, you will see I'm giving my Myself a little bit easier of goals so then I can actually check them off and not feel like my week was a failure because that sucks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope it goes up on time. If not, I don't know. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!